Hello, I'm Frédéric Rosa. Uh, I work for Suze. Um, I'm attending uh, this year Kernel SCP uh, because I know uh, a lot of people uh, in the organizing team and Suze is also a sponsor of Kernel SCP. I've been attending for a few years, including other uh, events done by the, uh, the upstream guys like uh, Distro Recipes in the past. Um, and this year, uh, the talk, which were extremely interesting in the last two, two days for now, for now were um, the Coccinella uh, talk uh, about uh, semantic patches. Uh, also the TPM talk uh, uh, by James uh, Bottomley. Um, yeah, th those were the two ones uh, which were very interesting, at least for me. Uh, I forgot to mention I'm a release manager uh, on the SUS Linux Enterprise products, so server and desktop. Jerry's talk wasn't that interesting to you? Uh, it is, <laughs> but I know it's uh, the, the subject already, uh, so uh, and I didn't want to feel too corporate. <laughs> How much work is what is working and what he was presenting gives you as a release manager for this enterprise product? So I'm f I'm lucky because uh, I'm not uh, in charge of, of live patching. Um, somebody else is, um, but so far uh, it's not a, a lot of work, uh, at least for for my for my side. Uh, it's really more a work for people cooking the patches uh, because they have to be done manually for for all the security uh, fixes. Right, perfect. Um, let's see, Google Project Zero just released a few hours ago a blog post where they're basically shaming distributions for not releasing zero-day kernel updates quickly enough. Um, they didn't say anything about SUSE in particular. They were targeting uh, Debian and, and Ubuntu in particular, saying that over three weeks later, those weren't addressed yet. Um, how seriously do you guys take zero dev vulnerabilities and, and those kernel updates for your users? Is that a special path that you can go through yes. where you have developers? Can you tell us how you deal with these exploits and how they are managed? At so we, we have a dedicated team, uh, an emergency uh, uh, task force uh, for this. So we have a regular uh, security team, of course, for, for, for bug fixes and, and security vulnerabilities which are released under embargo. Uh, and for zero days, um, of course, we have another team which is, about, which is able to work uh, 24 hours a day. So at any point, we have people in Australia, in, uh, in various, various uh, uh, geographic uh, zones to be able to cope with those uh, issues and uh, they are able to, to to do uh, patches and release that to to our customer very quickly. Um, there are a number. We have a number of internal indicators to monitor that we release uh, uh, security fixes in time, uh, etc. So, uh, one thing which has been very stressful, um, for instance, in the previous months, where all the spectra uh, vulnerabilities because they were under embargo. Uh, and, and even at SUSE, a lot of people were not uh, um, allowed to know about that. But then there were some leaks in the press, which put a lot of pressure on people fixing that, uh, because uh, it took it, it took months just to to get uh, the fixes uh, done properly, and then. Uh, Unfortunately, due to due to those uh, leaks uh, in the press, it was like, oh my God, we need to release as fast as possible. So um, this is where it's it can be very difficult. And I think uh, I don't want to blame uh, the Debian people uh, at all because uh, they are it's a community distribution. So um, it's very it can be very difficult uh, for a community distro to 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 hit the same uh, speed for this kind of zero days, unlike when, uh, like uh, us as Suze, we have people who are paid for that, who are on duty for that, so we can, which we can be called at any point in time uh, during the night because, oh my God, we have something we need to fix. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Great. Yeah. Hi. Um, any hobbies? Do you still like ROM? So, um, 
Uh, I'm a big fan of ROM. Uh, I've been introduced to ROM by one of the organizers, uh, Erwan, uh, a few years ago. So I have, I think, 20 to 30 bottles at home. Uh, I'm the only one uh, drinking that at home. Uh, and yeah, what's really interesting in ROM is that you have a lot of style, uh, at least three main, main style, uh, Spanish ROM, uh, Caribbean ROM, and um, specific anti anti rom, uh, which are really really different style. Uh, some are very uh, spicy, some are very hot, and some other are very sweet. So uh, depending, you can find any uh, you can find any rom or at least the rom you like. I'm sure you will find one. And even people who are more into uh, whiskey now these days, you can find uh, rom which are approaching uh, whiskey's um, flavors.